Welcome. In today's episode, we're going to work on the fixed bearing of my CNC router. I'm Jörg from JB Work Studio. To go forward in this video, I would like to explain what backlash is. So here's a short example. So let's for a second assume this is a sled. And we have a rope in the front with a guy and a rope in the back with a guy. And we are telling the guys to go start going forward into the direction of our measurement and we are arriving at position A. There's no slack in this line. This guy still has slack. He just walks behind the sled. And we say now forward to position B and we need to make three steps. No slack here. One, two, three. We arrive at position B. Still slack back here. Now we command that the sled goes backwards three steps. All right, okay. Well, here is slack and the first step it's going to pick up all of the slack in the line. That is our backlash. And now we already took one step but nothing moved and that is why we call it lost motion. Now we have step number two, something moves. Step number three, something moves. And unfortunately we never made it back to A. So the error from A to the front of the sled in this case would be our measured backlash. The backlash in my machine is coming from the fixed bearing that is supposed to hold the ball screw in place in an axial direction. Now the bearing I'm taking out is a deep groove ball bearing. It's one step up from the regular ball bearing but it's doing a relatively poor job uh, and has a bit slop on it just by design. And the bearing I'm going to put in is a double row angular contact ball bearing. This is two ball bearings in one. There's two bearing sets in here and they're facing each other and that eliminates all the slop in actual direction. Now I'm going to put this guy in and we're going to do that in fast forward.
So now for the next step, I need to rehome the machine. That will bring the y-axis back into its zero position where it is exactly 90 degrees to the x-axis. And that is important because I have moved the ball screws individually and they just stand in some sort of position right now. Once that is done, I'm going to come back and do some measurements on backlash because I'm hoping that that has now improved with the new bearings. So I have one other idea and that is to get the inertia into the picture as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm at Y70 and I'm going to program the machine to go to Y100 millimeter. So it's going to move off of that. Well, I let that pass. Very nice. Now let's do something different. Let's go to a G0, G0, Y100. Okay, now we do a G0, Y70, back to the position onto the dial indicator. I don't feel quite good about that, but... Well, dang, yeah, love it. No, I'm happy with that outcome. We were able to completely eliminate the backlash with the type of bearings that I put into that bearing block. Now, your machine might come with a bearing block that looks like this on the fixed side. It's called a BK10, 10 being the diameter of the shaft that goes through there. And if you have a backlash issue, open that up. There's two ball bearings in here and you might want to replace them with an angular contact bearing. Those are better and there's two that you can get in here. Okay, that wraps up this video and I hope that was some fun for you as well. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye.